Okay, we are back on the Internet. Uh, what does the panel think of Obama's musings this week about mandatory voting? You have a lot of uninformed people voting. We do now. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll multiply that number. Yeah. Well, do you, well, I don't know about that, because I don't think unless they, you know, you... Are they going to come to arrest you if you don't... Fine. Right. It'd be uh, a fine. A, In Australia, they do this mandatory voting. Right. It would be a fine. That's what they do. They wouldn't would you want to have 35 or 40 percent of the electorate voting that really did know something as opposed to 100 percent just going it, in and stamping whatever? I mean, I think I, we have I, to do something. I don't think it's kind of un-American, actually, uh, mandatory voting, but we have to do something. We have to make voter registration easier. We probably should think about moving elections to the weekends when people aren't going yeah, right. to work and right. running well, around. Well, uh, of course, I, I think... This is pathetic. You know, of of course, the problem with that is that one party, I'm not going to say which one, does not want more which people one, to vote. Which one? The Netanyahu? Which one? I think... One party, think, they oh, shall be on, nameless. That is so... Oh, Bill, are you but really argument? telling no, me that true. the Republican we want, party... We want the same does, thing the Democrats want, which is more of our people to vote and less right. of yours. You, that's what both parties want. Right. Um, but I think part of being American is exercising freedom not to vote. And the libertarian in me says, you know what, if I don't want to vote, that's voting in itself. It's saying right. a statement. Right. And I shouldn't right. be forced right. to vote. You wouldn't want to be mandatory, but I'm, I'm doing, this is off the top of my head, but didn't something like 80% of the eligible voters vote in the presidential election of 1960, Kennedy, Nixon? Something like 80%. No. Not I think 80. so. I Absolutely think not. Not 80. Maybe 60. 60. I think it was more than that. Let's have a bet. Let's have a bet. <laughs> now, if only there okay, was a well, way well, we could look consider up. Considerably more than, than over the past Bowl generation. Are we talking Super Bowl tickets? I want to get in on this. <laughs> <laughs> if only we were living in the future, Bob, and there's a way to look stuff like that up quickly on your phone. Wait, wait on your watch. <laughs> wait, right on your watch. watch. And when you um, are including 80%, are you including the Chicago votes? Well, <laughs> yeah. so that was look that up yeah. and uh, tell us in the next minute or yeah. so because I think 80 is way off. Yeah. And I, what do you want to bet, Bob? Who's going to pay for dinner tonight? Yeah, great. Free dinner Fair for me. Okay. <laughs> I say it's closer to 60. You say it's closer to 80, right? Yep. That, that's the bet. 70 is the breaking point. I, the, I, house, I, the house collects on 70. <laughs> <laughs> if it's 70, we will split, we will split the check. Okay. Uh, Bob, do you think the NCAA should pay its student athletes? I think they should be paid a stipend so that, like the average college student, because many of these kids come from disadvantaged backgrounds, they're able to get through college with more than just tuition room board books. But if you pay them a salary, you're basically waving the white flag and saying, this right. is a, a complete sham. That's all it is. Which they've allowed it to become. But it is a complete sham. Yes. But if... if we're just saying it. If university... <laughs> and and here's, here's something interesting. We were talking about this earlier. Things you'd like to hear said on the air. I like March Madness as well as anybody. Buzzer beaters and everything else. And it's all terrific. But you'll hear every conceivable stat. You don't want to embarrass any individual kid. But you will never find, even during a timeout, any talk of the disconnect between academics and athletics and what a complete sham this is for so many of these schools and so many of these kids. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if, university, if university presidents said, when it comes to the revenue-producing sports, because lacrosse players, swimmers, tennis players, they actually graduated higher rates than the average student body. But if they said, we are going to take control of admissions, for football, basketball, and maybe in a few cases, women's basketball. Nobody gets into this school that couldn't get into this school plausibly if it didn't have a basketball or football team. Now go coach these guys. They end a problem, but they won't do it. It's like unilaterally disarming. Bob, we have an answer on the 1960 vote. Ooh. What is it? <laughs> That's why you were smirking. 63.1. Oh. 63.1. Oh. All right. Oh, wait, wait, now wait, wait a light. Wait till I order the lobster out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the Dom Perignon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, but, is uh, Speaker Boehner working too much with Democrats and sacrificing a conservative agenda? Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting that the President of the United States seems to be more comfortable with Iranians than he is with Republicans. It's not necessary. They can oh, sit Jack. down and work together. Jack. And, and I, I, I feel like both sides should be talking a lot more to that's each other. That's something a Cuban would say. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's something. I agree with Doug. I agree with Doug. He's with me. You know, you know that's talk, a rare Jack. moment when we no, can make a New Yorker feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, that's certainly not the way it is. No.
calm, cool, You're so cool. white people That's talk. Right. Yeah, no. exactly, right. So what do you miss the most about Congress, and what do you miss the least? Well, I, I miss the camaraderie. I miss the debate every time I see Aaron Schock, a, a, a show like yours. I, I miss the decorations. <laughs> um, <laughs> the decor. Did you, did you ever see his office? Uh, I stole a Lincoln bus from it one time on a HBO show. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> was it fraternity it, prank? No, it, yeah. it, it was uh, Stephen Colbert. We went in there and stole oh, his Lincoln bus. Oh, stole his Lincoln oh. bus. That's, yes. that's a common There's sense. There's pheasant feathers yes. as well in the office, apparently. Yes, pheasant feathers. feathers. Yeah. For real. Feathers. Real yeah. poor right. dead And as pheasants. a congressman can say, like, you normally paint the office either like a light blue, a beige, a white. I mean, and you get, like, what, used furniture. What is it it's with Ill shocking. Illinois? Yeah, I know. There's a lot of weird political shit in Illinois. <laughs> I mean, Bergonovich, uh, what was his name? Bl Blagonovich. Blagojevich. I remember that too. Blagojevich. Blagojevich. And, right. and, and, Je Blagojevich. And, and Jesse Jackson, Jesse Jackson. Jr., yeah. he, remember he like, <laughs> he sacrificed his career so he could buy Mac Michael Jackson's old shit. And, you know, Did he put they have three he like, put like, the He was like the black uh, <laughs> Aaron Shock. He like, yeah. Yeah. like yeah, Michael right. Jackson's cape. Yeah. And it is like, bipartisan corruption yes. there. But three governors really in jail yes. and both parties. We've yeah. come together yes. yeah. around corruption. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> we feel good. I still want to get in on the free meal, though, Bob. Let's get another bet going. <laughs> Here, tip uh, generously. Oh, oh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I can take that now. I'm out of office. <laughs> 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 that's, that's funny. You said now. <laughs> Mercedes, is Scott Walker just the flavor of the week, or is he a serious national candidate? He could be the flavor of the month, but I mean, I do think he's one of the serious contenders. Uh, obviously, he's yeah. up there with uh, former uh, Florida Governor Jeb Bush, but I think, again, he's, ahead he's of a him. very... Yeah, in, in several states. He's ahead of him, in and I'll tell you states. why. Because he's the one guy on your side who is liked by both the establishment Republicans. Well, and Marco Rubio is too, though. He, he's, mm. he's liked by the establishment and it's by the, the Cuban partners. Dinner. It's yeah. Cuban. It's Cuban, right? Um, no, but so I think watch out for Marco Rubio because I think oh, I do. start seeing. Oh, yeah. I am always watching out for he's Marco Rubio. He's a Cuban. You got to watch it. Uh, so, Bring it back around. Um, so again, walk, what I think Walker brings is that fresh face, which is what we're not seeing with Hillary Clinton. So I think you know she. He's the fresh face. Oh yes, sir. Yeah. Party. It is the truth. Now, you look at the polls the and people want something. Fresh. Okay, don't say fresh we, like fresh. I know we, where you're going. I, we've already established you're racist. <laughs> Humans are not racist. Are you now being sexist? Are you saying fresh face like she's an Needs old... a fresh face? No, I, I am not. Okay. Because, no. you know, you're, here... You're putting we are, words in my mouth. I we are, we are very... I'm a woman. Why would I be aware. sexist? I mean, well, that's crazy. Oh, you can be. Oh, women can be sexist. Please. That's like, true. Yeah, please. That's true. And, they and can. gays can be homophobic, trust me. I that, speak of both of my people. Oh. Don't I make those things? Right. <laughs> Being a woman and a gay, I, I know of what I speak. What do you think about the Dolce and Gabbana scandal? Now, I, I mean, they're two old Italian guys who are gay. Yes, right. But they're saying, like, we are old Italian guys. Hey, you know what? Do we like uh, it old, the old-fashioned way. You put uh, your thing in the uh, <laughs> vagina, you know? Uh, that disgusting <laughs> vagina. You put the thing in there that the, we don't... I mean, they called Elton John's babies synthetic... Well, not his specific, but right. synthetic children. Right? And I think they were at that slide, which was the problem that got the move. But, I mean, the, the, don't they have the right? I don't they agree have with the them. Right. Don't they, they have, have the, the right? right? They have, they have the, the right. Look, this is, is it, what I think of the situation. This, One, it proves that there are stupid and insensitive gay people just like there are stupid and insensitive straight people, so my sexual orientation is not any smarter or more sensitive than anybody so else. So if they have an old world view, they're stupid. I think they're what they said particularly because it was about children, was stupid and mean and insensitive. Because I think that's just unkind. And, and, I, I, and I agree with you. Right, and I, I agree, agree. Yeah. Five and I million, agree. Five million yeah. people have been born IV. Five million. The first one was 1978. And she had children the natural way. Um, but I, I think it was well, an incredible... Well, babies story. are babies. I, I am <laughs> always for less babies being born because we do not <laughs> have That's horrible, enough. Bill. That's horrible? I'm the mother of five kids. I'm Well, no you way. shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be. My poor children. They're yeah. awesome. Well, 
that's that's super <laughs> selfish in a world. Super selfish. Absolutely. No right. way. The they're world does not have. They will be contributors to our society. God only knows. I don't what care. Am I care. They'll, they'll be <laughs> takers of water. No, they yeah, will they'll not. Drink they will not take water. water. Well, they, they need to take water. Well, they need to take they water. Do they do need to take water. Come on. And the rate, in the rate, the birth rate in the United States as it continues to decrease, at least the schlaps are providing some extra kids here and there. Well, we don't need extra kids. And they're half Cuban, so there you go. And Irish and German. <laughs> but we, but, but, the, but the, the world yeah. does not have enough resources oh, to indefinite. On. What do you mean, come on? What is your problem with because facts? Because I have you know five <laughs> problem with yeah. facts. These what? are facts. That is a fact. Just that is a fact. fact. I have a fact. Just I have a fact. I have a fact. Just I have a fact. This is going to be fingernails on the blackboard for those of, there might be a few Democrats in the audience, just a few. <laughs> but um, <laughs> genetically modified. Less water, less fertilizer, less land. You can feed a world of nine million people, which we're closing in on, but we get great resistance just to have an intelligent conversation about it. And I think that's part of the solution to the world population. And Monsanto children are not synthetic. Right, 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 right. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Kyle.